Hundreds of war reenactors storm the beaches of Conneaut, Ohio today as if it was Normandy. Each year, people strive to bring history back to life, showing off the events of D-Day. Matt Mathias was in Conneaut, taking in the sights and sounds of D-Day there. He joins us now with more. Matt. Yeah, that's right, Sean. Uh, Conneaut, Ohio has a population of about 12,000 people, and every year that number nearly doubles due to the yearly D-Day commemoration on Lake Erie's shore. People can witness a living tribute to the men and women of World War II through how D-Day reenactors dress, historic displays, and mock battles. Once it's all up and running, I forget kind of how cool this is, and um, I'll run into spectators who have come, some from, I, we had some yesterday from Wisconsin, we have people who've flown in from California, um, and this is kind of the World War II Mecca. D-Day in Conneaut, Ohio features everything from weapons demonstrations, artillery fire, tours through camps, and of course, the battle on the beaches. <laughs> You'll be seeing things here you won't even see in a museum, and you'll be seeing them used in context. Both my grandparents served in World War II in different capacities, so it's for them. Um, my brother, who passed away from cancer, this was one of his favorite events, so this is kind of uh, celebratory to his life, too, uh, being here every year. I had two uncles that fought for Germany and, and died for Germany, and um, just do it out of respect for them and also for the Americans. Participants say this is their way of showing respect to the greatest generation, which is aging. It also serves as a great way to teach history to members of the public. I mean, the first time I ever did it, it was a little weird. You know, it's, it, you know, because you're putting on this uniform and it's jarring sometimes, right? Because we're not just here to, to run around. We're here to really educate and to teach the public about what it was like during that time period. What were the different groups that were involved and how did they, how did they actually operate during that time period? And if you're interested in checking out D-Day Conneaut, you can see the schedule of events on our website, yourerie.com. John and Jen. All right, Matt Mathias in our studio. Thank you, Matt.